Welcome back to the Sunset Homestead. Do you see me? He's calling me. <laughs> Two things. One, it's about to storm again, and we had really strong uh, storms roll through last night, and I need to go around the property and check for damage. Um, and one thing that got damaged. Um, there must have been a plate out here with uh, this this pan and this pan were full of pig scraps yesterday. It looks like we got about three quarters of an inch of rain last night. These turkeys. There's a rabbit feed bag in there and they're like trying to get into it. It has pop cans in it. It's like we're in for a rocky day again today. So I'm gonna hurry up and take care of the animals before it starts storming again. Um, and then we're gonna roll through, hopefully, fingers crossed, and see if there was any damages last night. I know for a fact we have at least one fence down, so. Yeah, it's gonna start storming really bad. Ready, Charlie? I pinched myself in the girl pen door. Sucks. I'm gonna have a bruise there. We got a tractor. That means we're this much closer to being able to cut our own hay and bale it. It's starting to storm. Awesome. Sylvian, you were hiding. I could not see you. <laughs> um, okay, these babies, and I'm really sorry, it's hard to see, but Sylveon's babies here have a full two weeks on Wendy's babies. Wendy's babies, I think, are bigger than these guys now. I think I'm gonna have to get inside though, cause I think we're about to get slammed. Um, I guess we'll do a chit chat inside. Yep, time to go. All right, I made it in just in time to not get wet. I did get all the animals taken care of while I was out there. Um, but because of this nasty heat wave that we've had, um, we lost nine of our Cornish yesterday. The fan died that we had on them to keep them from overheating. So uh, looks like probably this weekend we're gonna have to send them to freezer camp a little early. Flash flood. We have to flash the flash flood. We could get a flash flood here, but what do I think? This ain't it, kid. Yeah. 
They do. And in valleys. If I can manage, I'll show you the damage we suffered from the storm last night. Oh yeah, you can see it. Ooh, I'm gonna get a little wet though. That piece of cattle panel right there is supposed to be our trellis for our blackberries. Uh, but our, <laughs> our zip ties that we had holding it up didn't hold up against the winds that we got. It was so windy last night that our kitchen window was open and it blew pictures off of the wall. <laughs> uh, yeah, we spent about an hour in the middle of the night trying to figure out if we were about to have a tornado. Um, really flashy. I should have taken video of it. Um, almost constant heat lightning and then it started rumbling and then all of a sudden we got slammed with really high winds lots of rain um we took the wind chimes that i had on my front porch shut a bunch of windows in the middle of the night and uh <laughs> we're ready to go down into the basement if things had kept up and the funny thing was, is that right when them storms started rolling through, we had two trains roll through on the tracks to the north of us, and it scared the living daylights out of me. <laughs> I, I'm not um, I'm not okay with tornadoes, so it's supposed to get stupid hot today, and I hope this rain kind of knocks the heat down but I have a feeling all it's going to do is bump the humidity up and it's going to be even worse. We're supposed to have a feel like temperature of 104 today and I am not ready because we don't have AC. Yay. Since I'm not about to go out and work in the rain, I was going to film a garden tour for everybody. I think I'm just gonna stay inside and clean. Yeah. It always needs it, so. That's all I have for you for today. I hope you have a very blessed day. Thank you for joining me. Subscribe if you're not already, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. I thought it was raining hard earlier. Holy cow. Get wet inside the house on the front porch.